This video is going to be about RMS or root mean squared and why it pumps out numbers in weird units called decibels. So you can see we've changed the view slightly for this video because to be able to measure RMS, which is sort of related to amplitude, actually we can't use the stereo files, we need to just use the mono files. So here we have uh, the compressional component, the poloidal component and the toroidal component as three separate channels. And this is again the beginning of 2016 from Ghost 13, let's listen to it. And we're focusing on the sort of whistling sounds that you can hear. Let's zoom in, so on this portion here. Now, how do we measure the amplitude of something like this? Whilst it is fairly sinusoidal going up and down like so, the amplitude is, is not constant. So how do we get an overall measure? Well, there's this thing called root mean squared. So what is RMS? Well, first let's draw a perfect sine wave like so. Now the amplitude of that sine wave is given by this distance here. But that's not easy thing to measure when you've got data. You could do it by eye by going, okay, there's the peak, there's the peak, there's the peak, there's the peak. But how can we do this a bit more systematically when we have data at lots of different points? Well, we can't just take the average of all of those points because that would give you something that's absolutely flat at zero. So instead, what we can do is take the square of this so that everything is positive and then take the average, which would give you something like this. And it turns out that the average of sine squared is a half. But this is in units of amplitude squared, so we just take the square root of that and basically RMS is equal to the amplitude of a perfect sine wave divided by the square root of 2. But we can extend this to waves that aren't perfectly sinusoidal, things that are a lot messier and maybe look like this. We can still take every single point along, square it, and then take the average. And again, by taking the square root, we'll get the root mean squared. And that's something we can calculate for any wave. But how do you do that computation in Audacity? Well, let's select a bit. We'll firstly select the poloidal component because that seems to be where the waves are the loudest. Let's take that selection here. We go Analyze, Contrast, and click Measure Selection. And it gives you an answer here, minus 14.1 decibels. There you go, that's the RMS. Let's do it for some other components. Analyze, contrast, measure selection, that's minus 20.5 in the compressional component and in the toroidal component, again, analyze, contrast, measure selection, minus 21.9 decibels. That's how you measure the RMS, but what is this unit, the decibel? Okay, let's talk that through. So Audacity gives us RMS measurements in dB or decibels. These are a logarithmic scale. And you can calculate the power in decibels by this formula. You can see that this is a relative scale. So we set some power level and then we compute the power over that, take the base 10 logarithm and then times that answer by 10. The reason we use decibels is it's more equivalent to how we actually hear. But how do you relate decibels to amplitude? Well, we know that power goes as amplitude squared. Therefore, our power in decibels will be equal to 10 
log 10 amplitude squared over amp zero squared, but I can take that two out by the law of logarithms. And there we have it. Then it's just a case of rearranging. Okay, I hope all of that helped. There will be more how-to videos on this channel, uh, so do make sure you subscribe to get stuff like that. And do ask questions in the comments below if you don't understand anything I said or you found something and you don't know what to do. I'm here to help.